Hey, good morning and welcome back, Commander. What have we got in store for us today? A couple of hours or so of uh, ooh, assault from the Volga, I think. This is a Soviet skirmish mission from Gates of Hell. Uh, and today we'll be making marine landings across the river Volga into this town. I don't know what town it is. Um, and we'll be smashing the German invaders relentlessly dis, uh, dismembering. Well, yeah, we'll do a bit of dismembering. But as we're going to be chucking them out of this city, smashing line after line, upgrading our tech trees with defensive, uh, offensive doctrine. Uh, this season of skirmish is, is all on the offensive doctrine. So this is a tank doctrine, and spoiler alert, uh, not much tanks due to there being a river crossing behind us uh, so not necessarily the right the optimum uh, doctrine for this map but never mind we're going to keep going here's our first unit just setting them up as into some cover and what I always hope to do what I hope is to get lucky uh, and have uh, the first line of the enemy defense within anti-aircraft gun range of my own starting line see we've got like a bunch of greens a bunch of allies a row of uh, a row of entrenched infantry and behind that some kind of aa if you get lucky the first thing you do is you drop a sniper or an officer or just advance your troops a little and they open up line of sight and the and your defensive emplacements stop mowing them all down that's the way i like to start don't think it's happening this time never mind so the other way I like to start is with an infantry tank, as you can see there, I've got him, he's going up that hill, and a tank destroyer tank, you know, like a, a mounted anti-tank gun on a on tank chassis. Unfortunately, and unfortunately in quite a few of these, that's not an option. So my second tank in this case is a truck with an anti-tank gun on it. Bit disappointing. That's going to slow things down quite a lot. That's not really a weapon system. I want to use a Blitzkrieg, if you see what I mean. Uh, we'll get, you know, we'll get our kills with it. We'll get some action, but small disappointment. Ooh. Never mind. Uh, and on we go. So we're going to charge in and go straight for the right flank. And hopefully this tank destroyer will just do everything. There'll be some infantry behind sandbags and stuff and tank destroy here we'll just walk in and 20 millimeter cannon the whole lot of them capturing the point in the off chance that uh there's something bigger to stop him say uh a cannon anti-tank cannon uh we'll bring that bring our own cannon up to cover him and take it out as as needs require is our second end infantry tank i thought you know i'd have one for each uh of the left and the right capture points um, or just speed things up and then I thought well you know since I've got two let's have two working on the same spot speed it up and that again that's my point of using offensive doctrine is to be as fast as possible one second I'll be right with you right, sorry about that a bit distracted Okay, yeah, we're gonna crawl up on this little spot. And the only thing I really fear here, other than anti-tank guns, this looks like quite a short map in terms of length, you know, actual distance. So we could be getting to range of other weapon systems on the second line and so forth. The only thing I really fear right now is anti-tank grenades. So I just don't want to get that close to them. I'd like to zap them at machine gun range or longer. Not really, not, oh, again, but I'm scared to, here's my cannon light, but I'm scared to charge, you know, you would want to do a big sort of circle the wagons Indian thing where you just drive around the entire encampment at sort of an extended range and shoot them from every angle. But I don't think that's possible. I think that would run me into uh, the next lines of defences to have more serious weapon systems. So 
So I thought I'd put this cannon on the highest possible ground. Look, and that's something of a hill against this tree where he is now. I'll deploy him there. And that should give him the maximum throw for any either advancing armour or um, emplaced enemy guns that become visible. <coughs> And after that, I think I've got a sniper out. That's, and this is my usual uh, starting formation would be anti-tank, anti-infantry, and then a sniper to open up line of sight. And that's how I like to start these games at the moment, certainly on offensive doctrine, or indeed any doctrine. Uh, unverbose today. I do apologise. I just uh, family drama, girlfriend family drama. It's uh, bad news. Sad news in the family, one less. So. Uh, on that cheerful thought, let's kill loads more people. <laughs> let's have a big massacre to uh, change the mood of the day. Yes, blast them up. What better than a load of 20 millimeter cannons ripping through human bodies to uh, distract you from actual death. Uh, where's my little sniper guy? What's he doing? So I don't really like that cannon. Blah, blah, wanted a wanted a tank destroyer tank. It's not like the Russians don't have them, you know, or a mounted gun. And there you go. What can you do? Right, can't resist showing this one. I'm kind of uh, my WhatsApp is pinging, and I'm having a comedy conversation with Akiko. She lives in Japan, and they're still wearing uh, masks, you know, uh, COVID masks. And I'm saying, uh, you know, the only people only wear masks is they're ugly and they're just hiding. And uh, I'm discussing, I'm, I'm explaining the concept of double bagger to her. <laughs> double bagger, when you wear, t when you're so ugly you have to wear a paper bag over your head, but you're so ugly that you have to wear two just in case the first one splits. Okay, let's get back to the murder. You, you know that one. It's going down well, I hope. She probably won't speak to me for a couple of weeks now. So yeah, move that cannon there. Let's got a better, better line up on what's coming, and we capture the first line, which has given us um, more cannons. Well, okay, wanted tanks, so I chose tank doctrine. Duh. Uh, but maybe we'll get something like a flat cannon out of it. You know, that'd be quite useful. I do like those flat cannons. You know, cause they, I like the flat cannons because they take both infantry and some amount of armor. worth using so this is like a that's the left flank done now I want to leave that ready for a while and have a look at uh, I think I've got another infantry tank prepared and I'll start extending that over to the left hand side and we'll work on the uh, on the left hand point yes yeah, so I've got another infantry tank that should be that on its own should be enough to take this point on the left that and the sniper uh, let's get on the move So it's usually the first two cat points should always, uh, most most often are really fast. It's not often I get stuck or, or bogged down this early. I did on the last one I uploaded. Uh, oh my god! The first cap just really bogged me down. Just getting in it was a nightmare. But I hadn't really. Uh, I don't know if you've seen it. But I hadn't really understood the tech tree. You know, I, hadn't, I couldn't. I was sucking badly <laughs> and there's, there's no really other no better words to describe it I truly I have games where I just totally suck 
where um, I haven't got a decent tactic, um, I'm not fluid, I'm not got any momentum, I can't work out how to advance without sacrificing massive lives or or if I do sacrifice massive lives then I haven't got the resource to replace them or, or I just get bogged down, it happens. Normally at some point in every map I get bogged down there is a point where you know it crawl, where my progress just crawls to a stop as I can't work out how to break the defensive lines or or the zergs you know or the reinforcements are just coming faster than I can kill them or taking all of my time and effort to destroy the resources uh, the reserves and the reinforcements rather than be constantly advancing and smashing the enemy line it does happen pretty much every map I'll let you know when it's happening on this one. Oh, yeah, 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 no, I remember this one. It does happen on this one. Right up near the... Uh, but right, it's a bit crushing when it happens right at the beginning. Oh, oh, come on. Will I ever break them? Right, so there's some kind of weapon system up here he's driving into. Making me nervous. Because that's a machine gun, don't care. If it's an anti-tank cannon, that's... Very bad news. That could slow my roll. Come on, whatever it is, it's unmanned, so let's go in. Again, don't want to get in grenade range. <coughs> and I don't want to be surprised by static emplacements. The guys with Proust in all of these units, they pretty much always have some kind of anti-tank rifle. You know, like um, basically a 50 caliber rifle. But certainly in this mod, they're not particularly worrying. They don't seem, you know, they rattle off shots at me for a long time and don't really stop me. In Men of War 2, pretty shortly, I could track them. I could track something with one of those at the very least, slow it down. If not... You know, light armor like that tank out I'm using. Oh, oopsie. Something stopped us, so we've just fled. Look. I'll cover that later. And I noticed they patched this so that it, they're harder. Vehicles are harder to track. A bit disappointing. But I'm yeah, not sure I approved of that decision. I like tracking vehicles. But, well, hell. Not a deal breaker by any means. So now I'm going to have to, I've got a couple of um, unused infantry units down at the front that we started with on that bridge. i could move them up and take the space with them so I can recapture my uh, little tankette. I mean, they're two guys alone up there. Well, they've got sniper overwatch, but basically they're alone up there with just their pistols. And a huge swarm of, uh, of Germans, hell-bent on crossing the Volga themselves. I don't have a mental image of where the Volga is. Is it Stalingrad? Is it Volga? Or does Stalingrad used to be called Volga? Or Leningrad used to be called Volga? I'm, my geography of uh, Russia and Eastern Europe is poor. Is very poor. I mean, I know where my village shop is. That's how good my geography is. Yeah. Oh, and I can find my shoes and tie my own laces. Let's say you know. So yeah, I mean, uh, if, we, if I was in maximum tedious mode, I don't know that I can clean this out with just one sniper. I mean, you have to be lucky because if the uh, reinforcements uh, comes this way, you know, and ten new men walk in on me, I probably can't kill them, especially if these snipers work slower than in Men of War. You know, they kill slow, every second shot misses or something like that. In Men of War, the hit ratio of a sniper was much higher, probably double. Yeah, so I don't know if I could do that with just a, could take that pace with just a sniper, just as I said, because 
the speed at which the reinforcements come would be quicker than the speed at which the sniper kills them. They'd eventually just get overrun or run out of ammo or whatever. So I've decided to send one troop up there and one here to support that. Possibly I could have sent two in here. Now pistol guy, you can start repairing. Because commander with his little PPSH type gun. He's like the god of firepower. Take them all on. Cover you. Oh, quick listen to the voices. See what they're saying. Also, these are the new uh, gunfire, small arms gunfire sounds. All this is, is is patched with the latest, the latest sound effect update. Apparently there's one more sound effect update to come, which presumably will be um, heavy weapons, I'd expect, but I don't know. I wonder if they'll keep bringing out expansions for this beyond uh, the, the release of the next iteration of Men of War. I hope so, because I'm quite enjoying these. It did take me a long time to uh, start playing this. I mean, I had the game for, I don't know, two years or something. Felt like two years, anyway. Um, before I even played it much, I turned it on and had a look. It's the 4K scaling that really put me off. You know, I've got a big run on my television. I spent all that time and effort to get 4K gaming, and then it doesn't use it. I mean, really, oh. It's difficult to play, you know, it's difficult to play with tiny icons that you can't see the pictures on, you can't really read. And if you're like me and you played these games backwards and forwards, it's not, I mean, you can do without it, but I do a lot better with it, just saying. Anyway, uh, so, you know, I complained on Steam in a couple of threads, blah, 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 I'm just not going to buy expansion packs, there's no point, and I didn't, because I wasn't. And I'm not going to play this game, because I can't be bothered, it's too much like hard work. It's a shame because you know how many thousands of thousands of hours I've played the other ones, the prequels. I really do love it. But yeah, then that guy came out with uh, the wiggle on how to on how to play this. You know how to stretch the icons in Windows. And that got me. And then I was in. I was like, right, if that's all that's been stopping me is that complaint, me moaning. I'll stop moaning and get in there. And here I am. And now. I'm back to playing it without the big icons because they get in the way and I can't see anything. I can't see, you know, I can't see where the enemy is because my mini map takes up half the screen and my tank icon is too large. And anyway, <laughs> oh, such a moany pants. Got us something to complain about here. Oh, the devs, they need to patch this game and fix it. Oh, yes. When have I played a game when I haven't said stuff, stuff like that? It's quite rare. Typically, I don't say that on the first game, on the first version of the game. So if I've just bought, I bought um, what's Tarkov, Escape from Tarkov, which I loved and was an addiction, and is, is, is if I have time, will be an addiction again. And. Uh, you know, all the people who've been playing it for eight years or whatever moan at every patch. Oh, you've nerfed this, you've added that, your sound's gone bad, the la di da di da and we've got to change that. And Because it's the first time I've played the game, I don't have any of that. I don't have any of that. Oh, this is a letdown. This is a disappointment at all. Just loving it. But once I've played a game a few times, you know, and I'm on the sequel and I'm on the expansion packs and I'm on the... You know, that's when I'm starting to... Moan. <laughs> oh yeah. So we've got another anti-tank cannon out there. That's good news. So that's going to hold it down for the armor from an armored assault. We've captured it, so that gives me extra infantry. I won't be able to read what the infantry are because the icons are too small, and I'm a moaner. And uh, now I've got to have a think about where to go. So what I plan is uh, is that big red 
block ahead of us in the middle of the map look we're at the top of the map top of the screen there there's a big kind of city block um, city block best way to describe it, isn't it uh, I want to take that so I'm going to sneak halfway up I want to clear the trench lines on the left where those guys are I want to clear the trench lines I want to storm and, and make a mortar base in the center of the next across the road not the block we're storming but the one before it and on the right hand side I haven't really thought about we'll probably advance on the right as well so we'll go for a, a full spectrum advance but the focus of advance will be in the center which are uh, just at the top of the screen there before that broken down block of flats I'd like to turn that into a mortar base to a mortar pit you know where they've got hiding behind that hiding behind that building where they can fire into the zone we're trying to conquer so I'll need to I'll need to support their flanks. I'll need to have the streets on the left and right of them under fire control, so that they don't get flanked and wiped out by I don't know an armored car or something. But yeah, that next plaza. That's where we're headed. Okay, so I bought the um, I bought the big flak. Uh, it's going to take ages to get into position. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to fast forward it. I'm going to buy, you'll see me, I'm going to drop off. Um, I don't know how long, I'll, I haven't checked how long this recording is. Hang on. So the recording is almost three hours long, so what I'm going to do is, is fast forward here. And I'll just, uh, I'll get some guns into position. And I'll show you when I've finished, I'll show you which new guns I've ordered. That looks like a mortar. And where I put them before we make our next move. So this is going to be my interim fire base will just be here as you can see just holding down that left lane that's the center ground that i want to capture and turn into a mortar pit but things are occurring over on the left there's people in those trenches there might be reinforcements coming that way so i'm going to build a kind of a little fire base there and sort of a preliminary fire base with some gap you know with all my anti-aircraft guns and cannons and i'll probably up upgrade the right hand side a little perhaps I got some snipers down. So you see, look, I've got a new ammo truck, the anti-tank cannon, a flat cannon. Finally arrived. I don't know how long that took. I put a sniper in that window. I like, you know, I'm, I, I sort of think that if they've got height, they've got a better. They'll see over things. Be less to hide from. That gives, hopefully, I hope putting the snipers in the windows is a tactical advantage. I'm not convinced, but I'm going to do it. Make a mines up at the end. Okay, that's the, so that's the first part of the advance base. That's pretty. I'm pretty comfortable. That's a strong defensive position. Anti-aircraft gun, cannon, mortar, infantry, sniper. And that's strong. Um, so I'm going to advance him down the road. control over it. And I think this is um, this is pretty much standard Fibio tactics fighting in built up areas. Uh, we stick a big weapon system on the road basically we're going to have line of sight down all the roads once we control the roads then we'll move into the city blocks between them and clear them out so look at this ah so this isn't um i think this is the starter uh, the starter ammo truck it's not, it's not the ammo truck I'd spawn if I bought one. It's the one that's on the dock when I start. So it's just a trailer. It's a bit harder to manoeuvre. It's big, it's clunky. And you need a truck to drive it. Then you have to move it. Yeah, whatever. Not very good. But it's free. And making it brilliant. The best, oh, the best one of all. <coughs> I 
Oh look, here comes an enemy. So that thing's got some kind of flat cannon. And he's very dangerous to infantry. And basically he can kill anything I've got. Uh, let's hope the cannons... So I think the sniper spotted him. I hope he doesn't spot the sniper back. And then that's nice. That's what I wanted. Victory! Okay, so first part. I don't think we've lost a man, have we? I think we're doing good. This is going the way it should be going. It's an assault in good order, albeit a slow crawling assault with no tanks. With no assault tanks. Uh. So he'll move him forward up to there. Um, and once these two crewmen get murdered, I'll fast forward rather than wait for the driving. Going for water, got it. I'm just going to forward until I don't know, didn't get him. Oh, and they found something else over there. What's that? Oh, that's a dangerous looking cannon. So what I've done there is I shoot high explosive at the wall behind him. It kills the... Inf I'm not necessarily... You know, it's a hard shot to hit that tank behind... Hit that anti-tank gun. No, not that hard a shot. But typically I I fire at the wall behind it and the, let the splash damage of the explosive charge kill the infantry manning it. Quickest way to take something like that out. So that's a flat cannon for the right flank. And I've got more guns flowing in. All here very slowly. This one for the centre. It's an anti tank for the centre. At least the mortar is getting quick. Right, I'm going to fast forward. Let them. Uh, I don't want to wait for them. See you in a few seconds. Right, just skipped a minute or two forward, just as I said, to stop us having to watch the long walk of all these cannons. And while I was at it, look, we've pushed into, I've sent in the anti infantry tank, secured that. We're going to send the mortars up to where I want the mortar base, which is right where that um, tank is. He's there to cover them. And essentially he went in there to go in just to see that nothing would shoot at you if you go in there. He was a scout. We're going to support that with our mortar pit a mortar fire base there's many mortars as i can make and the nice thing about these mortars is they move a lot faster than the cannons when they try you know the guys walking them in walk at a better chop so here's an ammunition truck of the of the other variety of the more useful variety and i'll put him in at our new fire base down at the mortar Now, as you can see, that blown up armored German armored car just to the right of the mortar base. If I don't kill that faster next time, it could get in there and just massacre the, all the mortars all at once. So let's get some uh, get some spottage going on on the other side of that for the mortars, and we'll bring this big old uh, flat gun to control the center to fire control. Basically, where that smoking armored car came from, so it doesn't happen again. Oh, what's that over there? The sniper spotted some kind of weapon emplacement, maybe two. And let the mortars take them out. And I'll keep shipping mortars in there until it's just some enormous, um, mega army of mortars. So that fires a huge mortar spam, 
that hopefully takes out whatever spot, whatever spotted the incident is spotted. So absolutely dominates. Right, here's our next one. Here it is, like ordered one. That's the next in the in the set. All going to the same spot. I like that it's nice and central. You know, that's got a big. Um, you know, it can fire over the left flank, the right flank, and the centre ground. That's got a no better place for artillery than smack in the centre of the map. Now we've got to have another little think about how to advance further. So let's pull him up. That firebase on the corner here. Mm, tempted to move it down the road. The thing is, I feel if I move it down the centre of this road here, which is where it's most needed, even fire control over the flank so of my mortar base, the very left of the map, that road next block along, hasn't got anything to stop infiltration. Let's send the snipers down to these little foxholes. That's a good spot for them. Oh, somebody's bumped my mortar pits. Look. So that to me is looking fairly capturable. I just think this is a nice, it's a slow advance, but it's um, it's controlled. We're not getting overrun. I'm not panicking. I'm not going to like hide behind bushes and throw my last final hand grenade at a tank or anything like that. That's a nice steadily advancing formation. And that's the kind of formation I want. That's a captured anti-tank gun. That uh, doesn't look very powerful, but what the hell, it's free. But I've got anti-tank, anti-infantry, big ass weapons in a formation, heading down the road, sniper ahead to give them line of sight. I'm very comfortable with that. There's not much that that formation won't stop. So yeah, so playing my offensive doctrine in defensively uh -huh. oh, some kind of vehicle down there so this is definitely the honeymoon period things are moving fast progress is good uh, you know, I'm resourced. I'm buying plenty of plenty of gear at rapid speed. So I'm one, two, three, four mortars in there now, or just three? Three. And we're advancing at a modest rate. So I can put my mortar down that advance pit and put some infantry down to go in there with him. Doesn't hurt to have a lot of firepower, keep him alive. Whoever I killed up there had a crew member that stuck out. And so what I'd like to do is to, I'd like to use, I'd like to um, garrison that building. I want to put them in there, sticking the heads out of the windows just, I find them hard to kill in that position, as you know, as a player. I find the guys who stick in the building windows, ducking down and popping up and firing off one shot, ducking down. And I don't find them, I don't suppose they kill a lot, but they're really hard to kill. I've noticed that a lot in some of the missions. Pavlov's house, where you had to garrison a, you know, like a Soviet block of flats. And they're just almost unkillable. It took ages to be able to kill them. So that's what I want to do here. OK, 
because it'll just give me loads of line of sight. It'll keep all his forces busy. And, uh, and I've got mortars in range too. To really devastate. Yeah, I mean, they've definitely got control over this area I'm trying to come with capture. Oh, it gives me a tank, apparently. Bet it doesn't. <laughs> oh, we'll soon see, perhaps. So, we need to spot everyone in here and kill them. And then all become ours, and we'll be able to spawn tanks. Who doesn't want to spawn tanks? Don't, put, don't all put your hands up at once. I know you like these slow moving cannons that take forever. Oh, we found someone. I think we're getting a bit left behind on the right flank, so we might as well move that up too. I'm nervous of going in so hard with the uh, with the armour. I'd like it to be sniper-led, ideally. And he's sitting at the back, being lazy. What'd you get, mate? Hop down the road, find me another window to hide in or something. No, can't get any of those. Can get in that one, that looks good. On the sniper. So down to the front. That's a tense moment. Oh, I'm holding my breath. Hold it for longer, yeah, I know, I know. Don't stop, yeah, yeah, I know. Holding your breath, a shooting technique. It took me a long time to learn it. I think it works for swimming too. Half a lungful. If I like breathe all the way in and you know to get the most air in my lungs and then try and hold my breath for as long as possible, it doesn't work. It's not that I run out of air. It's that it's so uncomfortable to, um, you know, my muscles in the wrong, aren't in a relaxed state. They're in a fully extended position. It's a stress position. Uh, so half a lungful, and then hold your breath. So I, I was finally taught that, I don't know, a few years ago while doing some rifle shooting. And uh, I was like, well, why haven't I known this all my life? But yeah, so you want to be top sniper, half a lungful. Then hold your breath. Oh, found someone. And that's the way I like it to work. Sniper finds someone, anti air gun line takes him out. That's all going to plan still. Ah, did you see that red dot pop up on the bottom right of the minimap? We've got some infiltrators got through the line. He's going to be a pain. Go and kill him, mate. Find him, kill him. Infiltrators are a problem because, you know, you're moving an ammo truck up or a sniper up or some expensive unit. You're not paying any attention. Well, here comes a plane. A plane! Two anti-aircraft guns can take him down. Clicked on him. Boy, he drops bombs on whoever he's going to drop bombs on. Don't know. Oh, my mortar pit. No! No, no, no! Oh, no! 
Look at that. That was my centerpiece of the attack. Three mortars, an armoured car, an ammo truck deleted. Oh, shit. And it's being backed up by some kind of rush on the right flank. Ah, I'll tell you why that spawned. It's because we captured the the middle waypoint, you know, the one around the tower blocks. There's the mortars that are holding that, by the way, so we're going to lose it again. So that spawned a counter-attack. First time things haven't gone my way. Boo! We should be able, we've got anti-tank up here, we should be able to take on. Yeah, we should be able to take that on. The centre point hasn't got anti-tank, hasn't got a lot of anti-infantry. And really needs to rebuild this mortar base really quickly. Luckily I've got a spare mortar. So I've bought all the armour. Capturing it gave me a load of armour. This is the armour it's given me. I've got one of each. Uh, they are underwhelming. They are very underwhelming. Look at those. So I'll get them into the centre and try and hold it. They can, at least they can get there quick. Yeah, I really was hoping for something a bit more tank killer than those three. Keep the mortars coming. I need a new ammo truck. Uh, a couple more mortars at least. Right flank seems to have survived nicely, intact, no damage. With the centre and oh, the sniper. S sniper, no, the sniper survived. Did he? Don't know, maybe not. I've got a label. Which one of those is the mortar? I mean, given that I can't see what the icons are, I don't really know. Truck, rebuilding that mortar fire base as fast as I can. Hopefully, you won't just send another bomber over and wipe it out as fast as I build it. If only my anti aircraft had shot him down earlier, eh? I've, I've, I've had some lucky ones where the, uh, where the enemy airstrikes have been shot down before. Even when they get shot down, then what tends to happen is the. Um, I don't know what kind of tank that is, it doesn't look very good. That's our best tank, by the way. It doesn't look very good. Um, well, you shot the plane down in time to stop it dropping its bombs, but the plane's just crashed on it and blown it up anyway. Had quite a few of those. So yeah, don't recognise this tank, do you? A highlighted one there, the biggest of the three. Got some kind of cannon. So no, something's flanking me on the left. It's got all the way past my left angle. So remember I said things could sneak past me on the very far road on the left. Something snuck past me on the very far road on the left. Uh, 
where it is like mortars are engaging it, but not. His gun positions right next to it. Mortis should be able to get it. Sooner or later they'll drop they'll knock it out. Sooner would be preferable. There you go, done it. What's that fella? Ah, okay. We get three of these, it's another anti-tank gun. Like the first one we started with, I complained about the one that came on the back of it. that one, the one I'm just moving now. It's unit capped. Only have three of them. Alright, the reserve coming down the centre. Infiltrator on the left. Mortar base is rebuilt. So if we can control this, uh, you know. So up gunning the line basically. Once the once the line gets so powerful that it can just wipe out everything that moves across into it instantly, then we're ready for an advance under the cover of it. Now I did notice stuff was getting in along the, on this road we're looking at now, so I'm up gunning that. Essentially, this plaza is under pretty strong sustained assault. And he's going to be an issue. He's going to be taking people out of buildings with that kind of weapon. So here are my three silly tanks. <coughs> Two of which I recognise and could probably struggle to find a name for. And then uh, the third one I've never seen, the biggest one, never seen before. Don't know what it is, don't recognise it. Good. Do the same to the next one, please, mate. Oh, this one's a bit nice. Hey, that's one of our tanks. Where did you get it from, German? Same one that's just moved around, or is there two of them? I think there's two of them. Luckily, they're not all that, so. Which is good, because my anti tank weapons are not all that either. There he is, the mystery tank.
at some point I want to advance the mortar base up to the next uh, row of buildings. In order to do that, I want to secure this crossroads so they've got flank protection. little and snipe like that tank hunter so it's quite important it's part of the um, part of the success is to keep the infantry down keep the enemy's infantry dead because he's not they're not just dangerous themselves they're not that dangerous uh, in and of themselves, but they are opening up line of sight for the weapon systems behind them. So by massacring them as they pop out with mortars, machine guns, snipers, what have you, you are greatly increasing the life chances of all your other weapons, your tanks, your cannons. They'll get first shot if they're not spotted. Uh, it's a snail crawling down here. There's a, you know, there's another capture point at the end of this block, at the end of the road, just on top of the screen there. That big building. That, it's bound to be defended. It's bound to have anti-tank rifles, uh, anti-tank cannons, and oh God knows what else down there. I'm going to rush in with my silly tanks. They'll just explode in contact with the serious enemy. Reinforcements are here. Any more snipers? Two more snipers, a mortar, and a flak cannon on their way. So this is a bit slow, a bit stalematey. Uh, so yeah, I thought I'd move the water base up to there. That's a good spot for it. Bouncing, and then all, a lot of those red. In fact, all of those red dots in the courtyard ahead, on the other side of it, will be in range, and it can kill all of them. These guys can come and shore up the building. Need more bullets. So 
So this isn't a beautiful gun line here. There's so much um, interruption. There's so many obstacles in the line of sight. That all guns can't fire on all things in front of it at the same time. That's not what's going on. It's a bit messy, but... The mortars are a bit of a saving grace. A big mass of infantry keeps coming up that uh, to the right of that road, that long sort of uh, long block with the warehouses in. I think, with the benefit of hindsight, a load of mortars would be the best way to fire control that, but I think I've brought an, uh, a flat cannon up there to do that job. That's what I've chosen. I'm going to fast forward until the next bunch of uh, equipment gets there. The minutes have passed and uh, I've upgraded the line. Look. I've upgraded the gun line, uh, particularly on the right. And this German armoured car that's come up the right and been destroyed without me noticing. I thought, well, since it's there, it snuck past. Or I presume it had gone down the far right and snuck past, like the infiltrators do on the left. Um, I don't know how it got there. It did get there. So I repaired it, and now it's ours. I thought while I'm on the mad repairing I might as well pick up this. Remember we mortared it to death on the left hand side, it was another infiltration unit. Um, it's got some kind of anti-tank gun. Look at him climbing on the top with the spanner. You glitchy, f you glitchy fool. But I thought, you know, what the hell, if we're just capturing everything that's got a gun on it, let's have that too. I mean, it's got an anti-tank gun and a machine gun, right? Might be able to do something. I suspect it'll never get used. A new glory wagon, a trophy, battle trophy. It's like bringing the Luger home or the samurai sword. Maybe we could capture that. That looks a bit more useful, don't you think? it move? Does it move? Does it need to be repaired before it moves? No, it moves. Okay. Yeah, we'll have that. That'll do. It's a nice find. Those two here, look. That, those two armoured cars are repairable and capturable. And there's my tank men, cunningly positioned around the corner. So yeah, we'll have those two. They, you know, be able to get something going with that. Командир, там то 
Deutschland. Выдвигаемся. Как прикажете.
I'll just skip forward till uh, we're going to get Serging. See how the right flank looks for this next little attack that you're about to see. Still trying to fix that up. As you can see, I'm just feeding in more tanks that more uh, heavy gun, more big guns to the line at the moment, and uh, trying to steal tanks to prepare them, put them into my line. But it's slow going. Here comes this tank down the right hand side. Uh, quite, I think it's going to be Mark 3 or Mark 4, judging by the icon on the minimap. And I wanted to see. Hey, I finally got that little tank out there. You can basically stay there. use a little machine gun tank like that, Panzer 1 or it's going to be. Alright, the right hand side held, held nicely against wherever that tank was. Look at the top, top, centre, top of the screen. 88 gun. So this tank is probably going to die. It's never going to get repaired in time. And this is as far as we can go. And it also marks the line of how far forward I can advance my trees before dealing with that 88. So I don't really want to stick him out. He's probably trapped there now. That's an objective. Do we need to, that's a thing we need to conquer. I wouldn't mind capturing this little base, getting some tanks. And the sniper. Got a flat gun. And then I'm going to advance us. I'm going to fast forward. This is otherwise going to be three hours long, and that's far too long. Um, I'm going to fast forward us a bit into the future again. Until now, we're well, hopefully we're ready to make our next play. A play, let's make a play. Um, so I've just been reinforcing the line, added some extra units and stuff, but hopefully, put up some kind of little scout party and decide what it's going to be. We know there's the 88 just up, up there. Uh, that's the point. I'd love to capture that point. And let's get some eyes on. So it'd be nice, for example, if I could capture this somehow. I think the tactics I'm missing at this point is to have this utterly dominated by mortars and then just send an infantry unit in to camp it or to hide in the corner in a trench or something. I think it's a tactic, if I was to play it again, I'd be more focused on much more waters. But yeah, so we're going to try and advance down the left flank. Look at him, he's pretty aggressive. He's low profile, so I'm hoping that these two guys are just under the hill and the 88 can't shoot them at all. It's been remanned. Unless they shoot it, they're going to be doomed. There's something else on that hill overlooking them.
So this is like a pretty heavily enemy place, but if I could just get to some guys to hide in a building somewhere and never die, and gradually I'll be able to build up fire control over the base with mortars, tanks, etc, gun lines. Rather than trying to overwhelm it with all my Diddy tanks, that's what I've been trying to do here. So the problem here is it's overwatched by multiple 88 guns. The one on the right in the centre, we've managed to knock out the crew and basically keep the crew knocked out you know, and suppress it with uh, 30 infantry tanks. But there's another one on the other side of the railway tracks up the bank, up the embankment behind it. And the combination of both of them means I can't do much in terms of armour, I can't do anything, they're just exploding. It's a shame, this, this is my armoured doctrine assault. No speedy, you know, I was hoping to do a speedy conquest of this one, but I don't think it's going to happen. There you go, if you look on the minimap, right there in the very top centre of the screen, behind that trench, 88 gun. Bang, take another one of my tanks out. Presumably just taking the other one out. Now I want to kill whatever that is. I think it's a mortar pit. I sent my tank crew in to shoot the mortar man. They seem to have succeeded. So this um, bl a blunt instrument. You know, charging a whole load of tanks and infantry in there. I think we could take that point by doing that. I think we could do it, you know, the brutal, high casualty way. As I say, the benefit of hindsight, a whole load of mortars right there would, uh, would have been the best option. Instead, we're going to send the infantry and slug it out in a bloodthirsty way. So I want that mortar crew knocked out. And the 88 guns knocked out, and then it'll then it's ready to fold. This one's going to be a slog, jokes. From here on in, this is going to be a slog. It's going to be brutal, bloodthirsty. The days of rapid, easy advances are over. So yeah, the mortar, the two AA guns, one of them's down now, but it's not destroyed, so they're remanned. back to life mate. So maybe I'll send him on a suicide run. Maybe he could drive in and squash the mortar. Or maybe he'll just explode. No, 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 no. Beaten by one of his own kind, look. AI versus human and AI wins. My infantry coming up to bum rush it. Let's see what they can do. It'd be nice if they all arrived at the same time as the tanks, but uh, 
Yeah. Genius commander. Got one of those firing positions through the walls, so they've got uh, it's quite a strong point. In case it's not that strong against a tiger tank or something, but it's pretty strong. Let's try again. Yeah, now the ATA guns are just ripping the walls apart. So let's go in there. That's the mortar I want to capture, or at least see blown up. I want to get these guys to deal with it. That hasn't got a whole load of front facing guns, it's got like a pretty small anti tank rifle thing. I think we should, the infantry should just be able to surge it. Or something blasting into them, in a lot of trouble. Oh, the flamethrower. Having a really bad day there, they're getting a headache. Shoot that flamethrower. So that's our mortars, look, that's as aggressive as we can get them at the moment. And they're doing a good job of suppressing the um, the nearest 88 gun. They're on it. Anti-tank, they've got an anti-tank grenade. Use it! Well done. Hey, well done, very well done. You live to fight another minute. There's the next wave. Bring up there's the staging point. Above the heads, look on the icon, and that's the armored thrust. I said it'd be nice if they all turned up at the same time, but for that chance. So, yes, that does strike me as a rather bloodthirsty way of storming this, but at the same time, uh, will it work? Don't mind the cost in life as long as, as, long as you have victory and timely victory. So I'll fast forward now and wait for all of that second wave to get there and then we'll have a look and see how they get on. Right, so that should be at least the start of them getting in. The infantry is showing up, the tanks aren't too far behind. Trench line looks worth taking. Really dubious taking tanks out there, given that it's overwatched up the hill behind it by an 88. I mean, the best one in the world. They're going to have a hard time staying alive for more than a few seconds. I only hope it's distracted. 
That's it, we've captured it. I guess that's artillery. I want to use that. I don't know how long we can hold it, so I want to buy the artillery quickly. There you go, the AT-88 is broken up. There's two piece artillery pieces, thank you very much. Bring them in. getting there but what the hell as long as they do so that tank pain in the bum big pain in the bum everything in here is going to die from either of those or both of those units unless I find a way of taking them out no, that was like my best tank <laughs> it's done nothing it hasn't got a shot off So I think there's probably a, we think we're probably just having a counterattack for having taken this point. Like, it's going to be painful. I don't think I can resist a counterattack. Well, we have taken the artillery. We bought a couple of artillery, so if nothing else, that might be enough to change the dynamic. Grenade him. You love your grenades. Well done. Goes like that some more. We'll be alright with the counter attack. So I've already bought some more. Buying as much as I can while I've still got the point. side of the tracks, centre of the screen, between the gap in the wall. That's a noble worker. Can you hear it? see it. I can hear it. I don't want shooting. Doubtless some of mine. Okay, stalemate. Let's uh, see what happens. Right, let's skip a few seconds into the future. Are we moving? No, they're just sitting there and killing us all. That's where the Nabal Wolf is coming from. Like we just do, don't we? If we move from our hidey holes, the tanks in the 88s get us. If we don't move from our hidey holes, the Nabal Wolf gets us. It's just a matter of time before we lose that point. And all the men inside. <gasps> At least I found the Nabal Wolf. Guess not. Are you 
you guys, you know, we have some grenades, like right here. Grenade monsters. You can do that for. Hey! Ah. I mean, do they kill her? No. Oh, that's not what I want to see. All of them rushing out like that. So strong in that place. Get back in. Lie down. There's a noble worthing. Teaching me a valuable lesson in life. How to explode. Right lads. Oh, that's it. We're going in. They're going to die if they stay there anyway, so we might as well go for a bit of glory. The so Nubworth was up here somewhere. I'd love to, A, just to destroy it capture it combinations of both capture the Nurble Werther shoot the 88 gun with it that's what I want to do it's up here somewhere close where is it oh we're right there got it yeah, so I'd like to use that to blow up the 88 gun that's just over there. Uh, just behind there, yeah, right there. Kill that. You guys, just protect it. So what I'm learning with the benefit of hindsight is, but I think I've had so little luck with artillery on this map as I have. You'll see later when I'll show you the four artillery I just bought and in place. It's, it's got to fire over rooftops. I don't think I've got the angle to fire over roofs. I think I've missed, missed on just not getting it at this point. You can have a nice clear run at firing. Because I'm asking him to shoot that 88 and he's just not shooting. Nothing's happening. I'm like, what? Oh, totally got him banged to right with an artillery piece right next to him in range. And come on, shoot it. Maybe my infantry can stand behind it and machine gun him in the back. Oh, where's he going? Stop it. Maybe they can just kill the crew. No, fail. Time to run, boys. Maybe. Oh, can you please shoot that? So frustrating. None of them have hit. And I bet you all they've done is blow up a bit and all they've done is shot straight into the side of the building next to it. Lucky I didn't kill myself. 
I know, frankly, that was so unsuccessful, I might just kill myself. <laughs> As I went, there's bars on my window to stop me throwing myself out of it. Ah, oh, damn it. I got a hacksaw, then I'll be able to kill myself. Oh, this hasn't gone well, has it? So it should have been like a really awesome move. You know, these guys break through the lines, they got behind the lines, capture. Got pole position. Oh, they've got it. Get it, get it, take it. So I'm liking this. And what I don't want to happen is for all of these to get recaptured. I want these to either stay in my hands forever or at least get just or at the very least get destroyed. You know, actually blown up, not. Don't think he has the angle on that. He's got depression. I didn't even kill anything with his first ever shot. Bit of a tense moment. I'm my, my mouth on. Uh huh. So have you got like anti-tank grenades? No. So we can't dem demolish that. Uh, maybe we could jump on there, de chuck the ammunition out, or probably best we stay in the trench so and just die. So I wanted to, even if this attack peters out I want to do it again because this thing has been pretty successful there's one squad I mean they really mashed up mashed up the show took out two really quite uh, unhelpful enemy installations so here's my look, here's my artillery why aren't they blatting everything they don't range everything get on with it I can only think because they can't shoot over the top of that building that's too they're too close to a high rise, is what I'm currently thinking. Maybe we put them here. So I put some more infantry and put some more uh, armor. Sorry, uh, artillery. 
and just stick them all over the place. Hopefully useful spots. And this is one of those maps where I've, you've probably heard me moan about in the past because I'm, I'm not that I'm a moaning type. I hate you. Uh, this is one of those maps where I'm just not having any luck with the artillery. I'm not getting any results out of it. It's not. If it's even firing, it's not hitting. I have some maps where just a couple of pieces of artillery just dominate the whole map. It totally changes the course of the battle. And here I am in this map with all that artillery. I mean, there is bucket loads of it. There's about 10 pieces there. And it's not really doing anything for me. If they fire at all, I haven't killed anything. Ah. buying more artillery in the hope that if I just swamp the map with artillery some of them will shoot something <laughs> you know what does it take you're so lazy you have a gun or don't you love pulling the trigger uh, let's get some more infantry we're getting, getting them up to the same point we had good you know had good results off that last infantry squad that suicide squad that went up there to escape certain death I mean some of them are still alive my god and they've certainly stopped that um, that left hand top left green capture point being completely untenable. You know the ma the massacre that's going on there has ended. because they're out of ammo. Strange, because we've got ammo trucks right next to them. You know, because I'm a winner every day, I'm going to have chicken dinner every day. I'm hungry. This game's been going on for a while. I want to eat. Uh, so I want to capture this, obviously, this tank point. Maybe get some new tanks out of that. Uh, as you can see, I've been moving artillery up on the right-hand flank too, so that's uh, going to be useful. Now let's go. Instead of waiting for the artillery to get here, we're going to stop. And just shuffle all the mist and fast-forward in time just a little. Uh, some of that stuff isn't crawling. Now I'm getting pushed in the top, look. I mean, a very weak line up the top there. The noble Werfer and the two soldiers. Um, try and put that sniper in the front of that building so he can illuminate for the artillery. So I brought loads of infantry, we want to capture this point. Oh, we've captured it. That was a bit easier than I was expecting. I guess the artillery did their job. Um, 
and that's going to unlock us big tanks as you'll see as you'll see very shortly we're in the surprise so artillery is actually firing look it's firing that's our artillery firing now that we've captured that we're going to get a counter-attack I'm pretty sure that's probably going to push us off our spot on the top left with an herbal worker yeah, look that's our artillery firing brilliant and you pay finally and let's move all everything up here general advance on the right flank there's a look there's our new tank you missed him on the far right we just cameraed over him he'll be back in a minute you'll see him again survive longer in there so all right in that building they just in the center of that that'd be good oh, another worth is almost overrun I ought to decrew it or sabotage it in some way shame to let go of it all right given that it's loaded and ready to be rock I'll decree, I'll chuck the ammunition off it anyway, nothing else. And we'll go and try and fire a corner. Artillery is blasting, it does please me. You see on the mini map, you can see the emanations coming from the artillery. See that bow, right flank artillery is having a pop at something. The right flank fell really quickly, I mean, I didn't even notice. Certainly, uh, I'd ordered the infantry push, and it, it had just walked in pretty much unopposed. I guess mortars, the big mortar base next to it, must have done its trick when I wasn't looking. There you go, that's my new tank. Capturing this little thing on the right, got us an extra tank, and the extra tank is KV-1. So, time for a big KV-1 push. Building as many KV-1s as I can, they'll take forever to get there, because we're right on the other side of the map. And, uh, and they're very slow. If I get there, they will. Hopefully they'll crush the enemy. That stug is pretty bomb proof, isn't he?
Yeah, I think if they get inside this building, they'll be pretty hard to kill. I think they'll still be there at the end of the game. Come the KVs. Anything else, general advance, you can all move forwards. Definitely don't drive through my ammunition truck, you useless drunk. I'm hoping these KV tanks have the juice. I'm hoping that's just they're just going to steamroll up into the enemy base now. It's the first time I've used one in this game. DD cannon is trying to stop them. Go on, just massacre it. Yeah, shoes on the other hand now, isn't it? We've got the tanks and the artillery. You boys are just getting squashed. See how you like it. What's that big one up on the hill? Really up ahead of us. There's a mortar or what? There's something emanate, emanations. What? Killed my KV or killed the turret? That's not what I was planning. I was planning the KVs to just storm up there and blow you all up. Because they're monsters. The next one in. Doesn't help that their turrets insist on facing the wrong direction. Oh, he's been tracked. Can he kill that? This isn't going well. After all that weight to get these KVs, they've been ineffective. desperate to shoot the stug that can't shoot him back rather than the cannons that are blowing him up. I don't care of it. Underwhelming <laughs> this KV. Very underwhelming. Slow. Radius. Oh be well done. This engine out. Oh, my artillery's blasting. Who's it found? Missed the 
he's now lost both tracks rather than prepared one and It's ready to go. All right. Let's see what you can do, Uncle KV. One more time. Oh, and a new Uncle KV. You can come too. drive on top of the 88 that crushed it. And his rear turret machine gun shot the mortar pit. Nice. Sounds to like him again now. <laughs> Shoot him. Yeah. Finally doing a good job. Here are my friends again. Right. Infantry nesting around there somewhere, if they're in the house, we'll flush them out. Oh, it's a machine gun turret or something. Or two. KV actions, keep coming boys. Getting towards the end game, right? I'm seen to be a chicken dinner man. So that artillery is just constantly shooting the same thing in the centre. Uh, some tank that's just keeps surviving it. It's not one of those stugs. It's artillery proof stugs. I don't care, it's about KVs now. It's all about KVs. Crush. Conquer. Destroy. Oh, we've captured this one. Probably means there'll be a counter attack some description. We don't have long to go to capture that final spot.
reminds me a bit of playing um, Company of Heroes, where at the end, once you build up a four decent tanks, you can just storm into the enemy's base and wipe it out. That's the killer formation. Once you've got that, you've won. You know that's what you need to finish it. Oh, something stopped him. Taking damage. Can now I shoot him? scary are you mate? <laughs> I might just ignore you. <laughs> no, go on then, turn and shoot him. Oh, there's a more serious tank coming in behind him. Oh, lost the position. Not scary tank, drove through it when I had no one in there. Well, that position gave, probably gave me airstrikes or something that I haven't used.
Oh, slowly but surely. Okay, these are streaming in. Although they take forever to get there. Everybody down the front. General advance, everybody, let's go. Oh, they found the nubble buffer. And they managed to put bombs in it somehow, even though I took them all out and hid them. So my next wave of KVs have almost made it up to the top of the hill to the final capture point and one of them has and he's turned around and he's now going back to the flipping shoreline because he's a clever AI damn him
Any second now, come on. Last to finish it. So that KV drove all the way up to the, where the last one was here. When it got there, it turned around and drove all the way back. All on its own chest. Thank you very much. All right, thank you very much for your time, folks. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one, I hope. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe me. I love that stuff. Quick continue, look and see what's left on the map. Some screaming people, that's what we like. Really cheers me up to listen to people scream. Oh, they're awfully, aren't they? Those that can run are running. Winner, winner, chicken dinner.